How's it going ladies and bruises? I'm Bobby Six Hundred. welcome back to Yuppie Psycho. Now, we have a couple of new abilities. We have the contract that makes it so that we can breathe underwater. And we have the contract, more importantly, the at, the at this moment anyway, that lets us breathe in toxic air zones. So we've got a whole lot of new areas to explore. I'm thinking we'll hit floor... Four? The hive? Maybe we can find Kate. Because there's a whole lot of toxic air zones in floor 4. And I think we might be able to find her now that we can go through here. These guys are all going to turn into monsters though. That's what they said. Their faces are green. They must have been poisoned to death by the gas. Uh oh. Puzzles! This place is horrible, man. Nothing interesting. Well, that sucks. Oh, great. Hello. Running low on pencils. I should probably stock up on some pencils. Oh, nice. An ink cartridge. And some water. Empty the machine. We're greedy. Fuck everybody else. They don't need water. I'm having all the water to myself. Here we go, here we go. Uh-oh. No, no, no. Blarf. I'm gonna go. Please don't kill me. Are you just gonna stand in the way? Oh, I can push you. Well, I guess that's handy. Running out, running out of pencils here. Having a serious pencil shortage. Glow sticks. Ah, no. Oh. Oh. You can't stand in front of them. Okay, now we know. We need to heal, though. Eh? That's not in front of you, you asshole. I'm not having a good time. You and your vomity ass ways. Okay. I don't like it here. I don't want to be here anymore. I'm just gonna have a quick coffee. Run. Run away. Stay away from this guy. This guy's super dead. Hey, dude. We need to make some more coffee, man. Who are you? Leave me alone. The race is about to start. What race? What are you talking about? Oh, witch paper. Uh-oh. What do we do? What do we do? Alright, we need to, like, disorganize their movement. I'm using up all my health items here. Alright, we're good. Wait, where are we going? This cubicle is blocking the exit. Shit. Alright, alright, alright. How do we move it? How do we move it? This way. Here we go. Ow! We're seriously gonna die if we're not careful. Like, for cereal. I wanna go back to my office where it's safe. And nobody spews on me, nobody hits me with their computer mouse, none of that. Alright, prepare yourself.
Go! Go, go, go! Oh, Jesus. This place is the worst. I have nowhere to heal anymore. <gasps> An ink. A machine. Candy bar, yes. I'm gonna eat that right now. And then I'm gonna use the machine. I'm pretty sure I have ink. I do. I have two inks. Oh yeah. Let's rock. Now I feel safe. Because even if I die... Oh no. Oh no. I hate you, Hugo. You're a prick. Hey, you! Screw you, Hugo. Asshole. His head's burst open. That's nasty, man. That's nasty. The cable extends here. Someone's removed the button. Well, that's not very, very fair. You can't do that. I'm gonna have a coffee. How many, um... Oh, wrong button. How many credits do I have? How do I check that? Oh, there. 560. Damn, that's not bad. That's some credits, yo. There are several wires that lead all the way here. It has to be a way out. Ink. Nice. <coughs> Kate! <coughs> Kate! Are you alright? You look... You look green. The, the poison! Oh my goodness. What do I do now? I, I, I don't have any more anti-gas papers. Don't... Don't run! Don't run! What do you mean? Oh, the dot matrix! Dot, dot, dot... Ha hang in there, Kate. I'll, I'll find your uh, way out. Button. It's one of those buttons to move the cubicles. Oh god, is that it? Three glow sticks. Cable is here. Someone's removed the button. Can I use the button here? Nothing happened. <gasps> Dude, I didn't run. I didn't run. Leave me alone. Oh, that's nasty. Why does he know I'm here? I don't understand. I'm not running anymore. I need a coffee so bad right now. Alright, alright. Are we ready? There he is. Don't move. There's no point not moving, he knows exactly where I am and I don't know why. I just want to use the coffee vending machine, okay? I need coffee. It's the only way we're going to survive, our health is really low. Okay. Oh, okay, so we have to push them in the right order. Well, that's terrifying. <gasps> no, no, no! <sighs> Asshole! Now yeah, we have to drink water. I hate to wait. Oh, that does nothing. We are dead meat, yo. Get 
Go away! Stop hanging about like an arsehole! Alright, there's a briefcase down there, I don't want it. Shit. Go away! You don't know I'm here, asshole. I haven't made any noise at all. See? That's why I think he's cheap. He knows exactly where I am, even though I haven't made myself apparent to him yet. I haven't run at all. There's no way you should know where I am at all. Alright, you ready? One. There he is. Go away! I want to be as far away as possible when we launch the next one. Which I believe is this one. Two! Is that far enough or do we need to go further? I actually have no idea. Let's try this one. I assume we have to do all of them once. Bit of trial and error involved there. Come on, bugger off! You dirty dot matrix bastard! I really want to run. I really want to run. I'm fighting the urge to run the whole time. Go away! I'm just gonna hang out there, huh? Run into the table. Because you're an idiot. We're gonna try this one. Like seriously, what have I not tried? Oh, the one that this guy's standing in front of! Shit! I think I've opened a way up! Alright, alright, we got this! Kate, let's go! If I try to get Kate out of here now, I wouldn't know where to take her. I need to find a safe place first. Shit! Go away! Wait until I've solved it and then ruin everything? Asshole! Alright, we're good. Well, we're not good. We're okay. I really need... Coffee? Or something. The poison's much thicker here. My spirit's coming out of that cave. Why is there a cave? There's a filing cabinet cave. I better go back and find another way out. No way, man. No way, man. Yuck. The stench in here is unbearable. And that thing. What have I gotten myself into? You're a witch hunter, what did you expect? Sosa was right. This company is rotten inside. 
That was us. Man, that animation and art style is so beautiful. Even though it's horrifying. It's horrifyingly beautiful. And beautiful. Beautifully horrifying. Can I save now? Wake up, Brian. Don't you think the sea is mysterious? It's Ray. I had a feeling it was going to be either her or the robot version of her. Mainly the robot version of her, to be honest. We are so hurt. Oh well. Oh, we're lying on top of a dot matrix. That's scary. There's poison everywhere. W what am I stood on? It's one of those things. And Kate's still in there. She can't hold out much longer breathing that poison. I've got to get out of here as quickly as possible. How do you... I've tried the buttons, but nothing works. What do you suggest? Nope. Maybe I'll give it some ink. Let's see what this thing does if I ink it up a bit. Use the ink cartridge. The button is lit up. Print. Can I print that way? How do I turn it? Uh, what to do now? Give it some witch paper? No? I can't seem to change the way it's facing. What do I do then? Batteries? Which paper don't work? Button don't work? Screwdriver. Let's see what happens if I mess with some circuits around here. Please don't die. Something's changed. Some of the buttons have lit up. Clean? Uh, print. Cool. Uh, inject. Out. Select. Can we go select again? The stomach of this body looks like a basketball. It's so swollen. Yuck. And worst of all, it's blocking the stairs. Not inject. Uh, out. Select. Select. Let's go with print. Oh my god, I had a feeling that was going to happen. That was horrible though. Let's go. No, I don't need a button anymore. Let's go. Oh, maybe I do. There we go. If this is the source of the poisonous gas, there must be some way to drain the water. You know I'm dying right now, right? Dead man walking. I bet there's something in that filing cabinet I want. Ah, shit, I missed it too, haven't I? I can't get that printer back now, it's moved. A little bit sad about that. I bet there's something awesome in there too. Chat. I can't leave without draining the pool. Okay. Fine. We can do that here, huh? What do you suggest? Oh, here. Okay, cool. Man, that shit glows like nobody's business. The air's clearing. I have to get back to Kate and see if she's okay. I can't get down there now. I'm scared I'm gonna die though, because I haven't saved. Oh god. 
It's empty, really. Who are you? There's something shiny in his pocket. What? The, what? 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 Corvo. It's an ID card that looks like mine, but this one's metallic. I wonder who R Corvo is. Was. Get yourself a metal card. Looks like it's dead, but I don't trust it. I don't trust it either. Let's get the hell out of here. While we still can. I really don't want to die right now. I really don't. Don't have to do the boss fight again and everything. Witch paper! Oh, we're back out here, so we should be okay. Let's see if we can loot for some stuff. This is where Chapman was. This is floor two, yeah? Huh. What the hell's in here? The door's locked. I can't see a way in. Neither, really. It's a handwritten letter from May 5th, 1971. I thought being a nanny would be more comfortable than working in the offices, especially if I'm taking care of a dumb girl. But I'm going to have to give up for the sake of my mental health. There's another page. I understand the stress the family is going through, and that is a bad time to leave my position. But that witch has not stopped crying these last three days, and her crying gives me goosebumps. The witch is who you were looking after? There's a table with several plastic candles that says offerings may be made. That's so creepy, why do I keep doing that? Okay, I'm leaving now, you creepy, creepy machine. We're gonna go brew some coffee before I sack myself and die. Hey, dead people. How's things? God, I hate coming through this place. I'm glad I'm not working on this floor. This floor is terrible. Alright, I'm going back to my office. Where it's safe. Reasonably safe. Kate! <coughs> Kate, are you alright? Oh, hi Brian. I was gonna get some air, I feel a little dizzy. Wait, come with me to the fifth floor, it's safer. How are you feeling? I'm doing much better, thank you Brian. I breathed in some of that green gas, but it's nothing really. I'm sorry if it's none of my business, but... Why'd you go to such a dangerous place? I got a call from my boss telling me that I had to take some photocopies there. And I thought I could do it by holding my breath, but when I realized I was starting to get dizzy. Your boss, did he say his name? I don't think so, what do you ask? It's nothing, it's nothing. Don't worry about it, the important thing is that you're okay. Aww. Poor Kate. Is something wrong? Nothing. It's just that I can't believe I left my work unfinished. What do you mean? I'm incompetent, Brian. I'm not up to the level of this job. Kate, don't say that. I'm worthless. I should have prepared a lot more and... Kate, stop for a second, please. Listen to me. It's not your fault. But, no buts, Kate. This company is sick, and it has nothing to do with you. It's been like this for years. It is a bit of a weird company. But what do you mean it's sick? Well, it's... There's something very bad that's corrupting everything and everyone. I don't think I understand you. Well, well... We are dying right now. Kate. Yes? Let's get out of here. What? Let's quit this damn job. But Brian, you already know that I'm just a village boy and maybe I'm not very cool or fashionable once you put me in the capital, but I can assure you one thing, there's got to be something better than this for both of us. Especially for you, Kate, with all the studying you've done. To tell you the truth, I've had a dozen offers in addition to Centricorp. Maybe, maybe it's not such a bad idea. Of course. Let's, so let's go have co the coffee you promised me. But outside this madhouse. Oh, you know what? You're absolutely right. We don't have to put up with all these freaks. We deserve a better place than this. Let's go get that coffee. Uh-oh, it's Dumont. Parsnip! I did my mission. Bravo, Parsnip, bravo! I knew that deep down in that flaccid, bent body there was a real man. A Spartan warrior. A conquistador. What do you mean? The poisonous stench, that green gas that flooded part of the building. The whole company is talking about the same thing. How the fifth floor rookie confronted the dot matrix and put an end to that nasty pestilence. Ah, well. Is that true? 
No, but I just... <laughs> Don't be so modest, Parsnip. You must have known I appointed you Employee of the Month as of today. Forgive my terrible manners, miss. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is... Wait, wait, wait. Thanks, but no. Sacre bleu. We're leaving the company right now. Ha <laughs> You're a first-rate prankster, Parsnip. Leave your first job on the first day. How difficult is it to find work in the capital? Such an indelible blot on your resume. It'll be like wearing shit on your face for the rest of your life. <laughs> Dada has asked me to tell you that he does not overlook your progress with the task entrusted to you. You're a model employee. Keep it up, Parsnip. <laughs> Thanks, Radish. Don't listen to that guy. He's out of his mind. Come on, should we go? Hold on, Brian. He's got a point. Who, that fool? Leaving on the first day of work would be a mark against us for the rest of our lives. Not to mention that we'd left on one of the best companies in the world. But, but Kate, it's too dangerous to stay. You saw for yourself. You're a good partner, Brian. And I know you'd do it for me. But I have to prove to myself that I can also be the employee of the month. What? No, no, no. I'm a hillbilly, Kate. Really, let's get out of this place. I'll make you a deal. We'll think about it until the end of the day, and then we decide. And hey, we can still get that coffee, right? What well, you say we meet in the canteen later? Okay. Yes, nailed it. <laughs> oh, I've got enough. I've got enough boxes to put that box here and be able to crawl through the vent in our office. That's pretty cool. Go make some coffee before I die. Hey Hugo, you fat bastard. Oh, look who's deigned to stop by his office. Hugo, I want to talk to you. I have nothing to talk to you about, Mr. Employee of the Month. Hey, but... Stupid frog bastard. I don't like it. Oh, I don't like it. Let's make some coffee. Stop making that noise. Go away. Do I have any more? Yes. Oh, the noise is subsiding. We're good. Alrighty. Alrighty, tidy. Anything in here? Let's uh, put down this box. Now can we get out? <gasps> we totally can. We get a shortcut to the, uh, to the viewing room. That's pretty cool. Oh, we still haven't used our water thing yet, but, uh, I don't know where we're going to do that. We'll figure that out in the next one anyway. Till then, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me, and I'll see you in the next episode.